Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Friday, April the 26th. It's the fourth week of Easter, and week three in the Psalm Cycle, and thanks for joining me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. Psalm 51, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak, and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in my inmost parts, and in the secret part you shall make me no wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise, for you do not desire sacrifice, else would I give it. You delight not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we decided to be left alone in Athens and sent Timothy, our brother and God's co-worker in the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you for the sake of your faith, so that no one would be shaken by these persecutions. Indeed, you yourselves know that this is what we are destined for. In fact, when we were with you, we told you beforehand that we were to suffer persecution. So it turned out, as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that somehow, the tempter had tempted you, and that our labor had been in vain. But Timothy has just now come to us from you and has brought us the good news of your faith and love. He has told us also that you always remember us kindly and long to see us just as we long to see you. For this reason, brothers and sisters, during all our distress and persecution, we have been encouraged about you through your faith. For we now live, if you continue to stand firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy that we feel before our God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you face to face and restore whatever is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we abound in love for you. 
And may he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For those who are sick, especially Trinity, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill and for all who struggle with addiction, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Chuck and Sean, that together with Francis and Claire and all of the saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For all the victims of terrorism and violence, and for all who serve in harm's way. For the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God Associates. for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia. The Lord is truly risen. Alleluia, alleluia.